Hi, welcome back everyone. This is video tutorial 3 and it's all about how we can determine K factor. What is soil erodibility factor? This K factor is actually soil erodibility factor which represents both susceptibility of soil to erosion in the rate of runoff as measured under the standard unit plot condition. Soils having high clay content have uh, low K values and these K values range uh, from 0.05 to uh, 0.15 and this is uh, because they are resistant to uh, detachment. It was this reason these high clay content soils have uh, low K values. Coarse textured soils such as sandy soils have low K values and it's uh, about ranges about 0.05 to 0.2 this is because of a low runoff even though these soils are easily detached. Medium textured soils such as the silt loam soils have a moderate K values and about ranges from 0.25 to uh, 0.4 and uh, it's because uh, they are moderately susceptible to uh, detachment. Soils having a high silt content are most erodible of all uh, soils. The K factor which expresses the susceptibility of a soil to erode is related to soil properties such as uh, properties organic matter content, soil texture, soil structure and permeability. These four uh, soil properties are related, highly related with K factor. Organic matter reduces erodibility. This is because it reduces the uh, susceptibility of the soil to detachment and it increases infiltration and uh, uh, this uh, reduces runoff and this, uh, also uh, erosion. So uh, direct measurements of K factor is time consuming. So being aware of the regional specificity of K factor equation is important here. Using different K factor equation in one study area to find a range of soil erodibility could be a way of testing their applicability. Developers choose and compare different properties and generate different soil K factor models as per their suitability and requirement. There are uh, so many K factor equations. K factor based on uh, the particle size distributions of soil according to El Swafi and uh, Dangler 1976 developed the following equation. The other equation is K factor on the basis of grain size distribution, organic content, structural classes, permeability rate of soil. According to Schimmer and uh, Smith in 1978, they developed uh, the following equation. Uh, the other is K factor according to Viazi uh, 2010. They developed this equation. K factor on the basis of geometric mean particles uh, diameter, Renard, uh, Renard uh, 1997 developed the following equation. So there are many uh, different kinds of uh, K factor equations, so uh, choose your equation uh, accordingly because K factor is original specific. So, Schmerer 1971 developed uh, the following general equation to calculate the soil erodibility factor when uh, the silt and very fine uh, sand content. content makes up less than 70% of soil particle size uh, distribution. And this equation is valid for low silt content, which is uh, less than 70% 70 of the soil particle size distribution. For this soil erodibility factor equation, M stands for particle size parameter, OM uh, stands for percent organic matter, C uh, for soil structure code, and uh, C perm uh, is for permeability class. If uh, you use this equation, K is in the uh, US unit and you need to uh, multiply the result from the, this equation by 0 0.1317 to change into SI units. Percent organic matter also related with organic carbon content uh, using uh, this equation. Percent organic matter equals to 1.72 multiplies with organic uh, carbon content. The other is, in, uh, is related with percent uh, silt and very fine sand content uh, multiplies with 100 minus uh, percent clay content. For this case, mostly uh, percent very fine sand uh, mostly equals to uh, zero. So we might take uh, the silt content for in place of M silt plus MV uh, FS. The other equation is from uh, a SWAT documentation. There is uh, an equation developed by Williams 1995 and uh, K uh, inverse Swiss equation equals to these uh, four factors. The first uh, factor is FC sand, the second F orc, the third F high sand, and uh, the fourth uh, factor is FCL SI. So FC sand gives a low uh, soil erodibility factor for soils with high coarse sand contents and high values for soils with little sand. F4 reduces soil erodibility uh, for soils with high organic carbon content. Uh, F5 sand reduces soil erodibility factors of soils with high sand content. FCLSI gives low soil erodibility factors for soils with high clay to silt ratios. There is also another equation developed by uh, Tau 1999. Uh, he has done model for the estimations of the soil erodibility factor to produce soil erodibility homograph. 
which was based uh, on nomographs of Gishmer and Smith in 1978. Steps in determining k values. The first step is determining the particle size uh, for every soil type of the proposed site. So the size of all the particles can be determined uh, by using a sieve analysis or uh, by manual meters. In this case, the following percentages uh, are required from this sieve analysis or uh, manual meter. The first is percent silt and uh, verifying sand in percentage. The second is percent sand. The third uh, is percent clay content. Uh, and the fourth one is percent organic matter. After we determine this, uh, the next step is determine soil structure. Soil structure defines uh, the frequency and the shapes of uh, the gaps between the soil aggregates. These gaps can encourage the, flow, the water to flow through cracks and increase the rate of erosion. For soils having a structure of very fine granular, uh, which is equal to 1, and for soils having a fine granular uh, structure, uh, it's equal to 2. For medium, coarse granular, 3. And for blocky, flat, and or massy uh, soil structure, we give a uh, value of 4. This is how we can uh, decide the soil texture for, for uh, soil having a clay content of 30% uh, and uh, sand content of 25%. Uh, for this case, so, uh, 30 is clay content. We will move uh, there. It is horizontal. From sand, uh, there is 25% sand. We will move uh, up. So, soil type is uh, uh, clay loam in texture. So, the structural class is uh, 4, which is arranged in uh, the orange region. As you can see, this is orange. For the red line, as you can see, the red line, which is uh, 3, yellow line, which is uh, structural, uh, for, uh, this is a structure type of uh, 2. So in such a way, you can uh, determine the structure of your uh, soil. Uh, the, after determine, you, you determine the soil structure classes, the next step is determine the soil permeability. Uh, so permeability uh, describes uh, how easily water would flow in the soil. So there are six uh, classes of permeability, from very rapid permeability to very slow permeability. So there is uh, a graph here. From this graph, you need to insert the percent percent clay, which is 30, then for very fine sand, which is 25. It, it lies in uh, this is type 4, so uh, permeability, uh, soil permeability is in class uh, 4, which is equals to 4, slow to moderate region, so uh, we will use 4. The final step is record the k values, uh, which is uh, based on a uh, Foster nomograph. We will use uh, this uh, Foster nomograph. How we can read this nomograph? First, we will start at the left uh, of the page, and uh, we will find the percent silt and very fine sand content in percent. Then, after we get the, this um, uh, amount in percent, then we will move horizontally right across the nomograph until uh, we intersect percent sand line. Then, in the intersection, uh, now we will move uh, vertically up or down until we intersect percent organic uh, matter line. So after we get this uh, line or intersect with uh, this uh, line, then we will move horizontally to the right until we get uh, or intersect with soil structure line. After we get this uh, or intersect with this uh, soil structure line, then we will uh, move directly down until uh, we get or intersect with permeability line, permeability class line. After we intersect the, the lines of permeability class line, now we will move to the left horizontally uh, to find uh, soil relativity factor. This is First, so the unit for this uh, k factor soil erodibility factor is in a uh, ton per hectare. As you can see, this is a unit which is not uh, visible here. So we will read uh, this point, then we will move uh, or intersect with this percent sand line. These are the lines. For this case, percent sand is uh, 25. There is a line between this line and this line, this line and uh, this line. So we will intersect the line from the percent silt and very fine side uh, with uh, this percent sand line which is 25 is you can interpolate the point here then we will move up or down to get uh, or intersect with uh, percent organic line organic matter line this is on percent organic matter line this is for zero this is for one this is for two uh, for three for, for this case zero now after we, we intersect with percent uh, organic matter, now we will move uh, to the right until we get uh, soil structure lines. For this, for this case, our soil structure is 4. We will intersect with the line number 4 here. Now we will move down. Permeability class is 4. Now uh, then we will move to the left and we can read the k factor, which is equal to 0 0.05 ton per hectare. This is a nomograph uh, according to Fostor et al. 1981. So you will uh, for this example. This is how we can uh, read k factor 
so uh, this nomograph for our soils uh, having clay content 70% uh, percent, percent 40 and for silt content 40 uh, we can uh, determine the k factor in such a way so this is this one and uh, this one are given so we are, we are expected to uh, determine k factor so for this case percent silt, uh, silt and very fine sand is 40 for this case very fine sand is uh, negligible or zero so we will take percent silt so there is percent silt 40 we will uh, plot until we uh, intersect with percent sand line percent sand line is 40 for this case sand uh, is 40 so we intersect the line here now we will find uh, percent organic uh, matter which is 1.5 1.5 is uh, in between uh, this is zero zero line uh, this is one this is two which is in between these two lines not the line and uh, solid line so 1.5 is here we will move uh, down now uh, we can approximate here now we will uh, move to uh, the right and here we get soil structure uh, line for this case soil structure uh, code is three so we'll use uh, three we we'll intersect here now we will move down until we get a uh, permeability class which is three for, for, this, for this case now we will move to the uh, left until we get uh, the left bar which is k factor values now we can read from uh, the uh, bars which is equals to uh, 0 0.033 in a side with uh, this is how we can uh, determine uh, the key factor according to Foster 1981 now I will show you also this 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 uh, uh, here according to uh, the previous one this is given and uh, this is given now we need to determine where we, we might be asked to determine key factor so this is how we can uh, calculate the key factor first we need to calculate uh, this percent percent silt or very fine sand which is uh, 100 minus uh, the sum of both uh, percent clay and percent sand so uh, it, is, it is it will be equals to 40 now uh, we will calculate m the second step is calculating m m equals to percent silt plus very fine sand percent the whole multiplies with uh, 100 minus percent clay this one for this case uh, which is equals to zero this one percent very fine sand is for this case zero which is 40 percent silt now uh, now after we get this we can uh, compute k factor so according to Schumer uh, 1971 we can uh, calculate k factor equals to 2.1 m the power of 1.14 uh, times 10 raised to minus 4 times 12 minus om plus 3.25 structure code minus 2 permeability uh, times 2.5 times uh, permeability code minus 3 divided by 100 which equals to uh, this amount this is a us unit so in order to change this us unit into uh, si unit we need to multiply with 0 0.1317 this value multiplies with 0 0.1317 so according to values in 2010 uh, this is the equation in order to uh, convert because k is the solid solidity factor in uh, this si unit so in order to uh, change the other is according to uh, Schumer and Smith 1917a this is the equation so from these three equations we got three uh, almost similar uh, values you can determine in such a way according to our documentation the first factors is equals to uh, 0 0.88 this one silt divided by silt plus clay the whole the power of 0 0.3 and equals to this one this one and we get uh, this amount the other five sand this one uh, the other fc sand we can compute according to this equation now k is a multiplication of these four factors which is equals to this one this is a ca us unit so uh, we need to uh, change it to si unit according to papers which is equals to type 0 0.1317 this one we can determine in such a way uh, for this case organic matter percent organic matter is equals to 1.72 times uh, organic carbon for this case organic carbon uh, can be obtained uh, from percent organic matter which is equals to uh, percent organic matter divided by 1.72 there is a gap between uh, k factors from these three equations and uh, using these equations this is us units this is si units and 0 0.023 0 0.033 there is a gap i don't know the reason behind this but there is uh, a number gap here so in such a way you can uh, determine the key factor this is all about for today and i will show you uh, the uh, how we can uh, determine uh, how we can insert the k values in using arcgis uh, thank you very much this is all about for today